Hello everyone, in this video we will talk about the latest Windows 11 24H2 build 26080 Microsoft release to the Canary and Dev channels. The latest preview build includes a unified Teams client and a new undocked mode for Copilot. It also introduces a redesigned progress bar under app icons appearing on the taskbar, and you can now turn on live captions directly from quick settings. In addition, today's build introduced Power Automate plugin in Copilot in Windows, offers automation features for Excel, PDF manipulation, and file management. Also Microsoft released ISOs for this build that can be downloaded from official link. Well make note, you must be member of Windows Insider program to download the preview builds and test Windows 11 24H2 feature before it available for everyone. Now talking about features, Microsoft Teams is receiving a major overhaul to provide a unified experience across personal and work accounts. Users will access Teams as a single application, allowing seamless switching between various cloud environments, tenants, and account types. This unified app simplifies account management and enhances flexibility for users with multiple Teams accounts. To add or access additional accounts, select your profile picture at the upper right corner of Teams when you sign into Teams. Based on user feedback from both personal and work users, Microsoft has implemented changes to meet the preference for a unified Teams application. Users consistently expressed a desire for a single Teams app that enables effortless access and switching between personal and work accounts. In response, Microsoft has introduced an update that allows users to utilize one application for all types of Teams accounts. Also Microsoft has introduced improvements to the Teams experience. In upcoming builds, you can enjoy enhanced flexibility when joining meetings, with the ability to select the desired account for participation. Additionally, you have the convenience of joining meetings without the need for signing in, simplifying the process and allowing for quicker engagement. Also Microsoft has enhanced notifications in Teams to provide improved clarity and functionality. Notifications now clearly indicate the associated Teams account, helping users differentiate between personal and work-related notifications. Additionally, personal notifications offer more detailed information, enabling users to take clear and easy actions directly from the notification banner. These improvements aim to streamline the notification experience in Teams, enhancing user efficiency and productivity. The preview release of Microsoft Teams in Windows 11 introduces a unified experience labeled Microsoft Teams Work or School for seamless switching between personal and work accounts. Notable changes include launching Teams into separate icons for single accounts and the removal of the standalone consumer app, Microsoft Teams Free e. Enterprise admins will gain the ability to sign in with Microsoft accounts through regular monthly updates, with functionality targeted for preview in April and general availability in May. Microsoft also introduces several enhancements to its Copilot Assistant. With this update, users can now switch between the traditional docked mode, where Copilot is fixed to the side of the desktop, and a new mode where it behaves like a regular application window. In this new mode, users can resize and move Copilot around the screen as needed, providing greater customization and convenience. Moreover, the addition of a Power Automate plugin facilitates automated file management tasks, particularly with Excel and PDF files, streamlining workflows. Also, built-in Copilot capabilities now extend to activating accessibility features like narrator and live captions, managing battery usage, displaying available Wi-Fi networks, and emptying the recycle bin. In the latest update, Microsoft has introduced a quicker way to enable live captions through the new quick setting in the system tray. Just open quick settings from the system tray, scroll down, then select the live captions quick setting. Also updated the design of the progress bar under app icons to help make it easier to see. This will appear on the taskbar as well as the start menu. Also when extracting files, if there is a file name conflict you can now choose to apply your selected action, skip, replace, for all conflicts. Also you will now find a new, hearing aids a settings page that will provide the settings to configure hearing aid devices for machines supporting Bluetooth LE audio. In addition the preview also includes an updated additional printer settings a section with an option to rename the printer without using the control panel. This is in addition to the option to pause print jobs that the company added to previous builds. This update also addresses various issues and bugs across Windows 11. Fixes include resolving problems with Copilot icon display on the taskbar, memory leaks related to taskbar tooltips, file explorer freezing and CPU usage spikes, persistence of preferences in file explorer, search result inconsistencies, and cramped details view. 
Other fixes involve task manager inaccuracies, HDMI audio, input switcher design, DWM hangs and snipping tool, cursor behavior anomalies, safe mode mouse and keyboard functionality, touchpad recognition after waking from sleep, and settings crashes. Additionally, underlying issues affecting app and game crashes, bug checks, and Windows Update troubleshooter errors have been addressed. All these changes will ship with Windows 11 24H2 later this year, but if you can't wait to try them, you can join the Insider Program's Canary channel and download the preview builds. To enroll your device in the Dev or Canary channel through the a Windows Insider Program settings from the e-update and security a section. Once you enroll the computer in the program, you can download the build from the a Windows Update is settings by clicking the Check for Updates button 